Welcome, Manny Collins here. Today we'll be creating an underwater scene card. Let's go to the products I used to create the card. The treasure chest, the teeny ocean icon, the fish school, the fan coral, and the frilly seaweed. And for Lawn Fawn, we're going to bring in the Ahoy Matey, and we're only using it for the um, sentiment, which is your treasure. We'll be using Recifying Clear and Nocturne. Memento ink I used to stamp our um, treasure chest. Some Copics. A few Memento drops. And of course, I'll have them all listed below for you. Some Barely Art glue to adhere everything together. Some embellishment. And here is the treasure chest and the um, oyster already stamped and colored and cut. I fussy cut those up. And our sentiment is on our um, acrylic block. So we're going to have a 110 pound um, card base there, and that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Layering cardstock to 65 pound weight in navy. Some Bristol smooth cardstock, masking paper, which I've cut a circle out of, and a double fishtail banner sentiment strip for our sentiment. We're also going to bring in some Distress Oxide in the following colors, Tumbled Glass, Salvage Patina, Memory Lagoon, and Vintage Photo. So let's get started with our card. First I'm going to peel off the masking paper backing and adhere it to our Bristol Smooth card stock. This will be our front card panel. And this is cut to the same size as our card panel, which is four and a quarter by, no, four by five and a quarter, because this is a bit smaller than our background panel. We're going to start with vintage photo towards the bottom to create sort of a sandy bottom. You're not going to see a lot of this, but just a, enough. So I'm going to go ahead and get that on there. I'm using my blending brushes to, uh, to put some of the ink down on here. And then we're going to move to Mermaid Lagoon. This is our darker of the three blues we're using. And just going to go ahead and move it back and forth and blend between colors so that we have a nice even blend. Then we'll move into Salvage Patina. And I'm cleaning off my blue br um, blending brush in between, but I'm using one blending brush for that color family. So I'm putting in some Salvage Patina, blending it again. And I will add more of the Mermaid Lagoon. I start out light and then I can always put more on. Then we'll move to tumbled glass. Again, cleaning my brush in between colors. So tumbled glass goes on the top. And then I'll reapply it going backwards now. Salvage patina and then mermaid lagoon. Making sure I have a nice blend on all of these colors here. And then here's some Mermaid Lagoon. And then I'll just hit it one more time with the vintage photo bottom. I don't even think I re-ink it. I just go ahead and use it. So now I'm going to uh, sprinkle a little bit of water just to give it some little textures and dimension to oxide our, you know, bring in some splatter, a little splatters to our background here. I'm going to damp that off with my paper towel. And I'm going to go ahead and start stamping our background. And for that, we'll bring in the um, Versafine Claire Nocturne. Now we're leaving our uh, masking paper on here while we stamp our next images. So I'm going to get my um, school, my fifth school here first. Let me put it on my acrylic block. And I'm going to stamp this towards the top left. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just ga gathering all, removing all my stamps that I need off their backing. All right, so I'm inking it up. I'm not inking all of it up because there's no need for it. We're only going to have a little portion of it showing. I'm going to go ahead and press it down. Give it a minute to absorb into the ink. Get my next stamp out and ready. I'm switching my stamps here. And I'm going for the larger of the two uh, pearly seaweeds. 
I'm going to go ahead and stamp that also to the left here. And then I'll move on to our coral, um, a fan coral, and I'll stamp that towards the right. And just off of the, just so. And get that up and give it a nice firm press down. And even with that, I don't get a great impression, so I line it back up and stamp again. I'm also going to get my sentiment strip ready. Here you go. I line it back up, press it really well there, and there we have it. So I'm going to set this to the side to dry for a few minutes because VersaFine Clear takes a moment to dry. And then I'm going to bring down my sentiment strip. Here it is. And I was going to put double-sided adhesive on it at first to hold it down, but I opted to use some washi tape on the corners. I'm going to get my sentiment, and then the you, I'm sorry, the you, your, who <laughs> are a, there we go, I can speak, you are a will be um, stamped in the um, Nocturne ink. And then treasure, I'm going to use the Mermaid Lagoon to stamp with it. So we have a nice pop of that blue towards the bottom. Get that on there. And now I'm going to remove the uh, washi tape so, and I'm going to heat set this. Like I said, VersaFine Clear stays um, wet for a little bit longer and I want it to set. But before I heat set my card panel, I'm going to remove the masking. And now you can see it's now a nice circle as a focal point on our card. I'm going to use my heat tool here to heat set the inks so we can continue with our card. Now we're going to bring in our card base and our layering card stock. We're going to adhere the card panel to the layering card stock with a little bit of Barely Art glue. Now that card panel, um, layering cardstock panel, is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half, so it's the same size as our card base. Making sure it's all there, and even with heat setting it, I still had a little extra there that show that came off of the uh, Nocturne ink. I'm going to adhere our card panel to our card base, and then we're going to bring in our treasure chest and oyster here. And I already um, put some uh, craft foam, no, foam, foam tape, geez, some foam tape to the back of our treasure chest. And I'm going to place this just off center here. And then our little, same thing with our um, oyster. It has a little bit of craft foam, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there because it's going to touch the treasure chest. And now our sentiment will go beneath that. And it will also be using some um, low profile foam tape to adhere that to the card. Just grabbing it here real quick. And I'm placing it on the back. I'm sorry I'm off camera there. And then we'll proceed to add some nouveau drops to all the little items in our treasure chest just to give them some dimension. I'm trying to make sure my sentiment is straight. Once I get it as straight as possible, it's time to bring in the Nouveau Drops to add it to all that little treasure right there. So I'm going to be using um, a variety of Nouveau Drops. I start out with um, Berry Red, and then I have a Simply White, Wisteria, Purple, Pale Gold, Copper Penny, and in the Jewels we have Key Lime. So the uh, Simply Wet I use on my pearl, and then the rest I use on all the different treasures that you see in a treasure chest. To make this easy for myself, I use the Copic markers to color it in, so I don't have to fill it all the way with um, the, the, the dew drops. And it adds a nice, simple um, dimension to those jewels there, once it's all dry. We're finishing it off with the key line there. Oh, actually no, pale gold is the last one I use. I 
And I even do the little cup just to give it a little shimmer. There's like a little golden cup in there. Now for our finishing touches, we're going to add some little sequins to the center and around our focal point. So I bring in some barely art glue and I put little droplets of glue throughout the card and then I'll adhere the sequins to that. I've got some glitter ones and some cupped ones in shades of blue and green. The green we're picking up on the salvage patina which has like a soft greeny blue to it. And this is a quick and simple card. There's some basic ink blending and stamping. And there's a nice close-up of the card. Again, let's go with some of the products I use. I use some Neuro Drops, some Versafine Clair, some Distress Oxides, and a variety of stamps from Fairy, a stamp, uh, from Fairy Hug that is available at Fairy Stampers store. Like always, I'll have everything listed in the description box below with links for you to find everything. Thank you for being here and I hope you found some inspiration.